It's a tense time in the South China Sea. The Pentagon's $10 billion bet gone bad. A massive manhunt is underway at a bizarre groping scheme at Denver International Airport. A scary sight. A pillar of smoke could be seen for miles around the district, rising from behind the Capitol building. Historic Frager's Hardware Store, where President shopped, an institution on Capitol Hill, up in flames. Good evening, everyone. I'm Morris Jones. More than 100 firefighters battled the four-alarm blaze this evening, and tonight, the 93-year-old store is gone. Six people are dead after a private jet crashes into a Gaithersburg home, sparking a massive blaze. Three people were aboard that plane. They were killed, as well as three people in the home. Thanks for staying with News Channel 8 for continuing live coverage of this breaking news event. I'm Morris Jones. We have team coverage for you tonight, starting with Mike Kaneen in Gaithersburg. Mike. Buy a brick and mail it to Washington. Other experts say not so fast. Life-saving drugs need to be rushed to market. Iran says it will ignore the UN. Are they behind the missile firings? The House approving a $463.5 billion spending bill. So how did a $45 million indoor rainforest research project in Iowa get in there? I called every member of the Iowa congressional delegation to ask about the rainforest project. Democrats are out of town on a retreat. Republicans weren't available, and most senators aren't talking. Morris Jones live on Capitol Hill battling the elements for us this morning. Good morning <laughs> to you, Morris. Hey, good morning, guys. It's nice to hear from you. Uh, big voter turnout yesterday. Luckily, here in Washington, it was dry weather. I don't know if it's rain today or if these are the tears of the Republicans, but in any event, <laughs> as you mentioned... This week on Government Matters, hackers target the Office of Personnel Management. I sit down for an exclusive interview with Director Catherine Archuleta. The Office of Personnel Management also plays a critical role in protecting our national security. They conduct more than 2 million investigative actions each year. That's 95% of all background checks. In this segment, we discuss security with OPM Director Catherine Archuleta. The New York Times just published a story about an attempted breach at OPM. Hackers traced to China targeted tens of thousands of federal employees who applied for top secret security clearance. What can you tell us about the investigation? What I can tell you the most important piece is that no personal identification information was, uh, was uh, compromised. As well as the Israeli-Palestinian issue. Cedric, what kind of influence does Russia stand to gain from this relationship? Because Putin is also using his charm on other countries as well. Yes, he is. He uh, definitely believes that he is going to be able to supplant the United States in many ways. After millions spent on the D.C. streetcar project, some officials are calling for it to end. Will it? It's a question I asked David Williams, president of the Taxpayers Protection Alliance. Well, that is the question. They're shiny, they're pretty, and politicians are often lured by the shiny and pretty things. But to They're lured by the matching grants, too. It's our money paying for this, and when the politicians see a matching grant from the feds, they can't give it up, right? It's very tempting to take that money. Increase the minimum wage in Washington. The measure was clearly targeted at Walmart and other big box stores. It's something that every piece of evidence we have cuts against. I, I think it's a silly debate. Eric, a good idea or bad to raise the minimum wage in D.C. and tell Walmart to take a hike? I hope we raise the minimum wage across the board federally. My answer is bring them on. Do you think your comments when you said bring it on actually incited more violence in Iraq? No. I'm Morris Jones in Washington. That's the latest from here. Now back to you.